So maybe you've heard of this guy named Kanye, or maybe you haven't, and you're wondering, who is he? Kanye is a world-renowned musician, producer, designer, and all-around artist. He came into public visibility after collaborating with Beyonce's husband, rapper Jay-Z, on the production of his hit album, The Blueprint, which if you are not familiar, is a classic early 2000s hip hop album that got Kanye recognized by folks who are fans and OGs in the industry. And a few years later, in 2004, Kanye released his own debut album, College Dropout, which offered a fresh perspective to the hip hop genre that made him really stand out amongst his peers. As Kanye's career rose, the tragedy of Hurricane Katrina hit in 2005, and he remarked on the absence of a cohesive federal response plan and how the lack of urgency was clearly a racially motivated uh, factor, given that most of New Orleans population where the hurricane had primarily hit was black. Kanye told an interviewer, interviewer that George Bush the 43rd president of the United States doesn't care about black people. And he continued to ruffle feathers in 2009 when he interrupted country pop singer Taylor Swift to announce that Beyonce deserved the award that she was receiving. Queen B may or may not deserve the award that Kanye said that she did, but what is for sure is that this comment will be the first among many hot takes that Kanye would share publicly to anyone who would listen at the dawn of the new decade. So what do we, you know, what do we know about this guy? Kanye the person. Kanye the person is outspoken. He is talented and he's also super successful, which all in all, why not be like Kanye, right? Why not? Because anything in excess is excessive. Being talented, outspoken, and successful are all great characteristics that one should take pride in possessing. But believing that any one of these three attributes, individual or collective, makes you believe that you are better than anyone else is pride in excess and continue on a downward spiral to insecurity. Take these tweets. I thought they were pretty hilarious. But as I thought about it a little bit more, it made me a little concerned because it seemed to suggest what I what I think is a slippery slope between uh, confidence and arrogance. So let's let's take the step to to look at the difference between the two of these things to be able to identify the difference between the two. So. Arrogance is insecurity masquerading as confidence, whereas confidence is the high esteem of oneself despite flaw or imperfections. So notice that confidence reflects high self-esteem or worth that is not based on being perfect or comparison. And arrogance is typically conveyed by the person who is performing or choosing to be arrogant as perfection to mask their deep insecurity and low self-esteem. People with low self-esteem uh, tend to boast about their accomplishments in order to appear more valuable than other people. But now, outspoken, talented, and successful. Does that mean confidence or does that mean arrogance? Well, they, they are examples of, of both. The thing is, Dun, dun, dun. There's an overlap. Confidence and arrogance are two different things, but there's often an overlap in the performance or the interpretation. A lot of the people in our society that we might deem as confident are typically kind of arrogant. And the difference is not just holding yourself in high esteem. Confidence is holding yourself in high esteem without comparison to others or the illusion of perfection as the basis of your esteem for yourself. So what's the trick in you know, avoiding being a Kanye? It's really just seeing the fact that 
there is Kanye in you regardless of if you are Kanye or not. In other words, you are yay. And yay is you. What does that mean though? It means that in confident people, there is insecurity and in insecure people, there is confidence. You make the choice about who you're going to show up as every single day, in every single debate round, in every single moment of your life. Because the difference between the two is how you decide to show up in determining how you want to be every day, who you want to be, how you think of yourself. So it might sound a little bit convoluted, but being conscious that you have insecurity in you will really aid you in making the decision to be confident and help you in answering the question of why you hold yourself in high esteem. When you answer that question, it's encouraged that you pay close attention to construct your answer without comparing yourself to others. And this includes your past and future selves. Let's look at these two quotes. Kanye says, I think, I just think that when my confidence meets other people's insecurity, that equals Kanye's arrogance. Now on face, it sounds really persuasive. You know, a person who's confident um, typically might be met by other people as, you know, you're doing too much. You're, you, you're, you're not being humble enough. You're not downplaying yourself enough. And that is true to an extent, but it's important to temper yourself with the reality that confidence doesn't require other people to validate you, but it also understands that you don't do what Toni Morrison says. If you can only be tall because someone is on their knees, then you have a serious problem. And so you don't want to have only be tall in comparison to someone else. Your height, your, your strength, your power should not be on the basis of someone else being below you for you to be great. Um, and and that's, that's what I really want everyone to kind of walk away with is that it is tempting to belittle other people, especially in a competitive debate round where things can get heated. But overall, it hurts you and your opponent because it creates a hostile learning environment and diminishes your ability to focus on what's important, which is the education in the round. So know that choosing confidence is choosing yourself because showing up as a version of the you that you think most highly of is how you grow in debate and how you grow in life. And so it is up to you about which you you will be showing up as today. See the yay in you. See yay. See you. Be you. <laughs>